On today's Bad on a Budget, I'm going to be unboxing the Red Hood Gallery Diorama from Diamond Select. That's up next. Hello everyone, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector, your Dark Knight of Collecting, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. I'm so glad that you're here with me today, but if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that like button, and click that notification bell. Make sure you choose all, that way you don't miss any of this content. Now, I always like to bring really high-end collectibles on this channel. You guys know that. I love that. That's what I love to collect. But I also like to feature items that are more affordable for the everyday collector. And Diamond Select always does a fantastic job with that. Amazing quality. Everything that I've reviewed for this channel has been really top notch. I'm always really, really impressed with what they come up with. And I have the Red Hood. Now, Red Hood has slowly crept up to become a favorite character of mine. I really like the backstory, the history, of course, with the death from the Joker or the near death and Batman abandoning him because he thought he was dead and that rage that comes inside of him, but he still feels that innate good to try to stop evil. And so this is a really, really cool piece, and I'm really excited to unbox him today. So I do want to show you, I'll show you the box art first. Of course, it's got that classic clamshell uh, that you guys are very, very familiar with. And as we go around, you're going to see the open side there, and then, of course, the actual statue and some Batman art there on the top, open clamshell. You guys know the drill on these Diamond Select pieces by now. Uh, but let me go ahead and get my bat knife out here. And... Let's make sure I get this open and ready to go for you guys. I'm really excited about this one. Um, it is um, kind of an animated comic book look, um, which is really cool. Pull it out of the claim show here. As always, it does come with that certificate of authenticity from Diamond Select. Really cool got some information there but let's let's tear into this guy usually there's some tape right there yep clamshells are nice because they're not going to damage in shipping so you don't have to worry about that I've never seen a, a damaged uh, or broken diamond select piece I don't think um, ever since I've been reviewing these things all right all right this is cool okay let's take a look at it I'm going to take a look at him right off the bat very cool. Very dynamic pose. Very, very nice. Uh, let's see. Got a knife, or a sword, excuse me, a sword. Kind of give you a 360 spin of him real quick. And, of course, I'm going to show you close-ups here in just a second, but I do want to give you that spin so you can kind of see exactly what he's going to look like. Really, really cool piece. Very dynamic, like I said, uh, but I know you want to see some close-ups, so let's do that right now. All right, guys, so we have him all set up here on the table, and let's take a really close-up look here at him and see exactly what you're going to get with this sculpt from Diamond Select. So like we always do, we always start at the base, and the base is kind of that uh, Art Deco style base. Uh, it's kind of that top of the building look. Um, it's very, very simplistic in sculpt. You see the scratches, you see um, all of those, uh, you know, that weathering technique, but the actual base itself is very smooth, it's very sleek, uh, and it's very stylized, like I said. Um, but it does look good. Uh, it's kind of a, a copper look, a kind of a copper gray, um, maybe, you know, antique look, but it looks really good, I think. It looks really good. Um, you're going to notice as we move up the statue, uh, really great detail there on the boot, which is nice. Again, this is a PVC piece, so it is a budget piece. Um, but you can see that there's still lots of details, even though um, it is a PVC piece. You can see the, uh, the fabric. It does look like the fabric's pulling there on the leg looks really good. You also have the other boot there. You notice the difference in color. You have the shiny and the matte, which looks really good. And then you have the belt as well, which looks really nicely sculpted. And then as we move up the figure, <laughs> there's a fist right there. Paint looks very clean, very crisp. Uh, Diamond Select never has any bleeds. Uh, it's always very clean. Uh, the jacket uh, has a nice texturing to it, as you can see. Um, it does kind of look a little bit like a, a, a leather or a pleather look, which is pretty amazing considering this is PVC. Again, I'm just always amazed by the, taint, the paint details um, that Diamond Select continues to pull off here. Really nicely done. Uh, let's go ahead and spin him around so you can see the front side. 
uh, right there you can see the the black and gray separation which is really nice you notice the the nice silver on the belt even it has some shading and weathering on that as well which is really nice I think the the pant sculpt is really good here really really good and then of course as we go up you're gonna see the chest area uh, the ab region nice sculpt from the armor um, it uh, is much shinier in person than it appears on camera as I'm looking here through the camera uh, it is a lot shinier um, it's even more uh, impressive in person in my opinion um, but it does look really good and then, of course as we go up the arm you're going to see the blade itself now the blade is uh, you know it is plastic so it's gonna have some give to it uh, but it looks good and then let's go ahead and go to the other arm as well you notice the creases in the jacket looks really nice really nice and then of course this is what sells it for me is this uh, great head sculpt of the red uh, red hood mask again very very shiny detail very very shiny and you can just see how dynamic it is you can just really see the movement in this statue he is literally leaping off the building uh, to fight crime so let me give you a, a nice pan here again simplistic base simplistic sculpt I say that, but at the same time, there's just so many details. Like, there is all of that cloth movement there. There's the arc of the body. There's the, the pull of the jacket. So there is a lot more detail than I probably give it credit for. Um, but it is overall a, simpl a simplistic sculpt. Uh, of course, this is, again, a bad on a budget piece. So it's going to retail for $49.99 or cheaper, depending on where you get it. But for that price point, if you're a fan of this character, this seems like a no-brainer to me. It's just a really fun piece. I recommend it. And uh, again, it's just been really cool to look at this piece from Diamond Select. Red Hood freaking rocks. All right, guys, so there you have it. A great look at the Red Hood statue, of course, from Diamond Select. This, again, is the gallery diorama. And it's a great piece, $49.99. It is a great price point for the budget collector. And you could probably get it cheaper on Amazon. I will put the link down below if you're interested in ordering from the channel. But for that price point, and if you're a fan, this is a great, great item. Uh, it's not super detailed, I'm going to be honest, it's not super detailed on this piece. Um, it is very simplistic in design and sculpt, but you know exactly who it is. It's incredibly dyna dynamic, I'm going to scoot it in so you guys maybe can see it a little bit better. Um, but very dynamic piece, and again, if you're a fan of the character and just want to add one more piece to your collection, this is going to do the trick. Um, again, it's a fun piece. And I think it's really well done. I think the thing that really stands out to me is the dynamic nature, but also the shininess of the hood and also his chest emblem, which looks really good as well. So anyway, I want to know your thoughts on this piece. Uh, is this a piece that you have in your collection? Is it, a, is it a piece that you're considering picking up because of this review? I always love to hear that. Um, but anyway, from top to bottom, it's a fun, simple piece, great price point. If you have a small budget, which right now the world right now, it's kind of scary sometimes to spend money. Um, and so if you want a piece like this, this is going to look great in your collection, have a nice little footprint, and uh, it's not going to take up space. So I recommend it. It's simple, but effective. And I really tip my hat to Diamond Select for bringing us these awesome characters, uh, when a lot of other companies aren't bringing us these characters. So thank you to Diamond Select for that. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that like button, and click that notification bell. Also, check out our membership group down below if you're interested in joining that. You do get early access to my videos. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you guys next time right here in the Bat Cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today, and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen, and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them, and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.